Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video and talk a little bit about light map resolution inside of Unreal Engine and what it means for you. So in this quick shot that you see right here, you're gonna notice a few things. We have our meshes in front of us are set to static and we are using a stationary light, which will cast static shadows for anything that is static in our scene. One thing you'll notice right now is I've already baked this scene by hitting the build button or build lighting and it's very blurry. We have these bad edges on our maps. And if you ever have this problem, I might be asking, how do I solve that? I want really high quality shadows. And the number one thing you need to start looking into is the light map resolution. If we come up here to the lit tab and we come down to optimization views and light map density, when we click on that, I'm gonna hit the escape key because anything you have selected uh, currently in the engine will turn pink. So if I hit escape, it'll deselect. But what we're looking at is our objects here that were kind of blurry, they have this kind of grid on them. And what is that? Well, we're looking at the texture resolution of these objects in the Unreal Engine. So each one of these grid points is actually one pixel. So you can imagine that if we wanted to save lighting information to a texture, this isn't enough. If you look at the floor though, we have all these tiny little textures and something you might be also noticing is why is the floor a greenish color while these are blue? Well, Unreal Engine has a debug color system assigned to this. So if I click on one of these cubes, there's a couple different ways we can adjust the light map resolution. The first way, which is the cleanest way in a sense, would be at a global scale. So in the asset here, if we go to the magnifying glass and we open up that asset, when we look at it, in the LOD zero settings, underneath build settings, if we scroll down, there's a couple things. One can be confusing, minimum light map resolution. We're gonna skip over that and we're gonna come down to general settings, light map resolution. And it's set to 64. So if I set this to higher, say 128 and confirm, sometimes you need to hit apply, sometimes you don't. We're just gonna save this asset. Uh, can't do this because it's a base engine thing, that's fine. What we're end up going to do is, we're gonna take a look and show you the second way you would do it. And the second way you can do it is if you come to the asset itself in your scene and you scroll down you're gonna end up finding a lighting tab and there's an override lighting setting here. And I currently have these very low. They come in at a default value of 64. So if we click off, you can still see that it's not very consistent. Also, we would wanna make proper UVs for this. We can see how it's squished on the side, et cetera, for the light maps. So in your scene, to conclude, to make higher quality, I'm gonna select all of the meshes that are not do not have enough resolution. Let's put it up pretty high to like 512. You can see the debug view has turned it green. I'm going to come back up here to the light map density viewer, lit. You're gonna notice again, the quality of our shadows is pretty poor right now. If I go to build and we wait a few seconds while light mask kind of kicks on here, some things you're gonna to start to notice once this is done, it shouldn't take too long, is the quality of the shadows in the corners, the cracks and crevices is gonna jump significantly. So now you can see that we have much better results. We're not getting that kind of lumpy look. And ultimately we have to decide how much resolution we need per our objects. Now, if you're doing an ArcVis project, you could probably push this up pretty high. If you are more concerned about the total number of light maps and memory consumption for texture memory, you might have to play with this a little bit more. So again, in closing, if you're having low quality lighting issues or problems on specific props, come through and either author them at the project level or in the override. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.